The Earth is no more. Humanity comes face to face with its greatest trial yet, to survive. Though we've escaped Earth's destruction, our enemies persist. Survival on Mira will be a great challenge, but with the help of Blade, we'll soon call this alien planet home. A grand destiny awaits. To avoid extinction, Blade members must work together, and that means we need to communicate even as we explore Mira's five vast continents. That, in essence, is the impetus for the Blade Network. This online communication system allows you and other members of Blade to join forces and take on difficult tasks. You can also communicate with each other and trade loot. Here's how you start. This is the squad selection screen, where you'll log in for a shift and connect to the network. Here you can choose from three different types of squads. Squads can hold up to 31 other Blade members, with whom you can communicate as you take on various tasks. Lifehold rescue squads are for those who prefer to not communicate with others and want to explore Planet Mirror by themselves. Conversely, selecting Conquest Squad allows you to join a random team of other Blade members to tackle some of Blade's more difficult tasks. Finally, joining a friend's squad will place you in a squad that one of your friends is already in. If you really enjoy the squad, you can add the other members to your favorites list. You can also send friend requests later if you like. It's your choice. On the right, you can check in on Blade's progression on Planet Mira. As you and other squads complete quests, the progress meter will increase. When the meter has completely filled, a powerful nemesis will appear for Blade members from around the world to engage. Inside the Blade Barracks, you can access the Blade Network Lobby. Your friends and other squad members will gather here so that you can request their support or even recruit them into your party for a limited time. You will also have access to the Blade Network console where you can take on various Blade quests and review Division activities, such as collecting Division rewards. After joining a squad, Certain missions can be shared indirectly between squad members. These are called squad tasks. A squad task may occur randomly while venturing out in the wild. Whether you participate or not, it's up to you. If you do participate, your objectives will appear to the lower right-hand side of the heads-up display. Here, multiple icons display the remaining number of enemies to defeat and the collectibles you need to procure. Target enemies are marked with a special symbol so you can track them down during missions. These enemies and collectibles are broken down into several categories. Be sure to check the enemy index and Collectopedia to find specific types you're searching for. And while you're attempting to complete a mission, pay close attention to the timer in the lower corner. When the time runs up, your mission will end, and possibly your patience as well. Let's pretend you're an expert at this instead. If all goes according to plan, the remaining number of target enemies and items will reach zero, and your squad task will be complete. Don't worry, you'll be rewarded for your troubles. In addition, a squad quest notification system will activate, indicating that a squad quest is now available. As part of a squad, you'll be able to send gear or items to other squad members, or receive some from them. While viewing your post-battle rewards, select Treasure Deal followed by the gear or item you would like to send to another squad mate. Please note that you can only send one piece of gear or item per Treasure Deal, so make sure it's the real deal. There are certain missions you can only accept from the Blade Barracks console. These missions allow you to work directly with other Blade members to form a party of up to four participants. Some materials are only obtainable from online quests. Squad quests will task you with exterminating specific enemies. They can be incredibly challenging to defeat, so make sure to bring what they call your A-game. Another mission accessible from the Blade Barracks console is called a Time Attack mission. These utilize our latest holographic technology to simulate bouts with powerful enemies you have encountered on Planet Mira. Defeat these enemies again to compete with other Blade members for a best time. Before you accept any of these quests, make sure you check the various requirements posted. Many quests will require a specific experience level, time limit, amount of attempts, or number of participants. 
When you're ready to begin a quest, proceed to the yellow gate. If you're watching the survival guide, there's a 98.7 chance you're not ready. Caution is advised. Feeling lonely? Blade understands. By using the console, you can scout other active Blade members and add them to your party for a certain amount of time. Simply access the console, then select the experience level and class of Blade members you'd like to scout. The difference in experience level between you and the Blade member you try to scout will determine the fee you'll need to pay. No matter the price, the scouted member will leave your party after a certain amount of time. Keep in mind that the time remaining can be viewed in the active members menu. As you fight together, the scout bar will fill as you gain experience alongside the scouted member. Once the bar fills, you'll be rewarded for your contribution. Remember, you can register yourself so that other Blade members can scout you. By doing this, you can collect additional rewards. You may also run across other Blade members while exploring Planet Mira, as well as inside the Blade Barracks or base camps. Be on the lookout for potential allies. One of them may just save your life. As you team up with your fellow Blade members and complete Blade quests, a global nemesis may appear. Nemeses are very dangerous creatures that must be exterminated in order to ensure our survival. But be forewarned, this will not be an easy task. Before you begin, please consider early retirement. Blade will not reimburse you upon your death. It is human nature to feel contemplative in the face of probable extinction. Luckily, you can share your thoughts with fellow squad members by sending them Blade reports. You can also share your findings and even recommend a report you have received. If a report is recommended by enough Blade members, it will be sent to members of other squads as well. You can view the Blade reports of any Blade member added to your favorites list. Blade reports are stored on the Blade Network servers, so you can send reports no matter what time of day they were sent or received. When you're lost in the wild, surrounded by monsters, it's nice to know someone else is out there. Whether you join Blade by choice or circumstance, you've come a long way already. We here at Blade remain hopeful that these survival guides have prepared you and the rest of humanity for the perilous mission at hand. Xenoblade Chronicles X is upon us, so complete your first mission as a Blade recruit by sharing this guide with your friends, family, and anyone else who deserves a chance to survive.